Preston Hobb grew up on the soccer field. He trained intensely year-round, traveled the world for games, and even made it onto a U.S. regional Olympic development team. But four years ago, he noticed his performance on the field was off. On the field would feel all of a sudden lightheaded and very winded when I shouldn't have been. After passing out abruptly on the sidelines one day, he got checked out and diagnosed with a heart condition called ARVD. I didn't really know what to think. I just, is this, is, is this real? Are you serious? <laughs> like, this, this is happening? Well, it affects young, highly athletic people. Dr. Hugh Hawkins, director of the ARVD program at Johns Hopkins, says the condition is inherited. A genetic mutation predisposes a person to developing ARVD in puberty. The question is, do they get ARVD? And that mainly has to do with how much exercise they're doing. That's right. He says intense exercise can actually be quite harmful to patients and escalate the condition. Dr. Calkins adds that men have worse outcomes than women. They present at a younger age. They're more likely to present with sudden cardiac death or a life-threatening arrhythmia. So they, they, they do worse because testosterone sort of exacerbates the condition. Warning signs include palpitations, heart racing, passing out abruptly, and a family history of sudden cardiac deaths. For treatment, some patients like Preston receive implantable defibrillators, and all patients must stop competitive and endurance sports. That if you dramatically reduce your exercise, you have more than an 80% reduction in your risk of having a dangerous life-threatening arrest going forward. Preston hung up his soccer cleats and turned to golf. He's now a member of the Bates College golf team, thriving and staying positive. You want to try to be your best self, so go try to be the best at something, whatever it may be. For Sinclair Cares, I'm Carl Willis.